Hi, Carl here for Pro V TV. I'm at the JVC stand at IBC 2018 talking to Gustav. So, Gustav, we've got some new cameras from JVC. Right. Yes. Let's talk them through. What have we got? Yeah, okay, this is the GY AC500 and 550. We have two models of it. Okay. It's basically the, the follow up model from the last year NEB presented, or from this year presented AC900, mm -hmm. the big two search inch uh, yeah, studio it's a camera. Connected cam. Yeah, yeah, correct. It's a connected cam. This is also the connected cam technology, bring in a new 4K camera with a one inch sensor, which can record uh, four to two in 50 megabit and also Apple ProRes in, yeah, Apple ProRes in 60 and 50p. Okay. Well, uh, what is the difference, first of all, to explain what is the difference between the 500 and the 550? Well, the 550 has some more features, which are, we have normally using MOV and MP4 uh, QuickTime recording uh, as a standard. The 550 gets, in addition, MPEG-2 recording and MXF recording. We use for the streaming a dedicated uh, protocol, which is the 60 protocol, for transfer the video signal with error correction and adaptive bit rates. Uh, we have, furthermore, a GPS built-in. We have uh, overlay graphics system yes, into the end, which you can use the tablet and can do a borderline, so that in case of our interview, you can make graphics exactly. without having a graphic machine in the post. Uh, and uh, also we have a built-in uh, Wi-Fi system of 2.4 and 5 uh, gigahertz with uh, two MIMU antennas, so we can have AC support means a very stable, stable Wi-Fi support. That's different to the 500. Both cameras have the full, the connected cam connectivity. So to explain it in a very easy way, yeah, we Yeah, let's go through that, because your cameras have always been quite good at bit connecting for IP streaming, yeah. things like that. What makes the connected cam lineup different? The different is a new engine in that one. It's faster, uh, less latency, it's about 500 milliseconds. Uh, we have... Um, a streaming capability in glass to glass up to 20 megabits in 10, 90, 20, uh, 50p. Okay. Uh, you, of course, you can uh, take any other stream resolution and bitrate resolution to match to the network. Uh, we have a USB host connection for the USB dongles on both camera. So you can use a Wi-Fi dongle and you can do your LTE uh, uplink to so that. You can use a 3G SIM card, things yes. like that. Uh, we uh, have also a CAT45 now on the unit, so you can go directly in a cable connection, which is very interesting. Some customer wants to use it as a small studio camera, mm -hmm. so you can use our uh, IP controllers, RMLP100, or you can use your PC and you can fully administrate over IP the camera. Really, with all color matrix and so on, and zoom and focus, you can do of an external controller by IP. But this is a little bit more on the connected cam. Uh, what is very interesting, we have also return video now. So, oh, okay. yeah, so we, we, you can send the video back to the camera. Right. Yeah, so for interview talk and so on, or some other information. So if you are online, you can see what happens in the studio before you are online. So we have a built-in decoder, so we can pick up a video stream from the station back to the camera. So people can actually be looking at the program output Cor effectively correct, if they're correctly. If the if the station don't have that video, but uh, you can do also for the interview like uh, we have IFB support over IP, so interruptible feedback. So you can have a microphone on the station and you can ask question, and you can do a really interview over the line. That's all in the connected cam family now. That's amazing. So the. There's obviously an awful lot of the connected cam sort of technology, yeah. but let's go through some of the actual base camera specs. Yes. What sensors inside in the it's lens, a, it's things a one like inch, that? One inch 4K sensor. Okay. Uh, we combine it where you can see that we're a large lens. Okay. It's 20 times zoom, but sometimes people say, oh, maybe 25, maybe better, whatever. But we take a large lens because if you're using it in 4K, one inch sensor, you want to have a high sensitivity. So we can reach with the big lens and the sensor uh, a value about uh, f11, f12. Yeah, so very, very bright and very light sensitive camera. Uh, it's a full ring uh, optical unit. It's a salvo zoom, of course, but still you have the capability to work by hand if you want to do a manual operation. 
Uh, what is also from the design point of view of the camera important is we talk with the with the real that news gathering broadcast people etc and especially on a news gathering all, always very crowded you have the camera high on a tripod so we prevent to do any bottoms on the top so every everything is clear on the front side that you really have a good operation so that's sometimes very important such small things Few for that can be rotated. You have all the audio setting. Of course, you have professional XLR input. We have an additional out, uh, input in the back for wireless audio and so when you want to hook it up. But furthermore, if we're coming back to the connectivity, the camera can record and stream, of course, on the same time. But uh, for the professional news gathering, we give you a clear indication. So here on this status slide, you will see when you're doing the recording, clear, stop, and go. And we make that also light sign for the network operation. So if you start a stream, you will clearly see your network is online or you see, well, I have a problem on the network. So it's a clear indication. It's very well, obvious for a camera operator. That's a really nice touch. Correct. And, and you, of course, it's independent. You can start and stop right. separately. What sort of media does it use? That's a very interesting question. And I think the people will love it because you see here in the back, when we open that one, we have our SD cards, traditional SD cards. Well, we use that in all our cameras sure. because we think the SD cards is the most value for the customers that can purchase it everywhere. If you run out of content, you go in the next shop, purchase <laughs> the SD card and you're done. Pretty much. Of course, the SD cards has some limitations. So we can recording uh, 4 to 2, 50 megabit HD on this one, no problem. Uh, but in case of 4K, maximum is 4K 30p and uh, then with a 150 megabit or with a standard SD card at 70 megabit. Right. So, but I told you before, we want to record very high quality 4K in 60p or 40p, uh, 50p. Well, then you need more space and you need a dedicated drive. So in the most cases you find dedicated memories, which is ex expensive and so on. So our idea, we have a slot here which you can open and we, uh, as an option, you can get a caddy. And in this caddy, you can do an SSD drive. Oh, so you can actually slot an SSD drive yes, into the back? correct. So, and that makes it also for the customer, it's a very key feature for the customer. So, SSD drive today gets cheap, 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 cheap. So, and this SSD drive is an M2 SSD drive, which you normally use in the laptops, in the small laptops. Mm. So the SSD drive, basically, you can purchase in any IT shop. Mm. So, for example, a 250 gigabyte SD card starts around about 60 euro. And then you can get 500 gigabyte, one terabyte, two terabyte. A two terabyte today SSD is about 400 euro, but it's two terabyte. No, so it's interesting that you're choosing the media solely based around the, what is affordable and reachable yes. for people. That's nice. Yeah. And, the, and the good thing is you can put out your caddy connect a cable to your whatever laptop yeah. or workstation and you can transfer the data directly from the SSD drive. And so, SSD drive very fast, so it's an excellent media. Exactly. I mean, so what can you do onto the SD cards and what can you do onto the SSD cards? Presumably the ProRes is onto the SSD? Yeah. But you can select where you want to record. You can do also HD on the SSD card. Okay, so you you can do everything onto the SSD, yes, but limited to just the 4K, 150 Absolutely megabits correct. a second, Absolutely 30p correct. onto them. Okay, do, so do we know when these are going to be available and what price they're yes. going to be? We have the uh, the, the 500 with, without the built-in Wi-Fi. It's expecting to around about end of January, and the 550 like here is maybe February. Okay. Around about. Thank you so much. A price is very interesting if yeah. you have a mind. Yeah, so list good. price, net list price, we are a professional field without tax. Uh, then uh, uh, net list price for the 500, it's about 3,000 euro. And for the 550, it's about uh, 4,000 euro. Fantastic, thank you very much. You're welcome.